you know it's funny. Do you know what's funny? I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Welcome to Stretch Into Spirit. I think it's Virgo season. It's been a pretty um, intense 24 hours. It was actually, yeah, probably like now she was here. I was walking yesterday morning and ran into uh, a woman. And you know, it's, it's interesting because I, I feel like um, the story should just be mine. I mean, I've told some people who were, who've been in my field, you know, who I've actually been eye to eye with about it, but, um, <laughs> it was, it was such an amazing experience. Okay, I'll break it down. I haven't even written it down yet, so this is pretty good. It's still fresh. She's still here. Um, so I was walking down the street with my dog, and, you know, I had a great walk. I talked to, I think I even talked to a couple people, and picked some flowers, and beautiful honeysuckle. I don't know if that's what it is, but it smells so good. Um, and as I was about to, you know, round the corner to go down my street, I see this woman walking towards me on the other block, and she doesn't have shoes on. And she's limping. She's gimpy. And she's struggling. And so, you know, I'm just kind of standing there, and um, I hope you can hear me. And, um, you know, she walked towards me and was walking past me, and I'm like, sister, do you need anything? Can I help you? And uh, she ended up coming over to my house. It was close. You know, it's not like it's not far. Like, you can make it. And her legs were very swollen. And um, anyway, oh, when I, when I asked her if she needed anything, and she said, do you have any socks? And I'm like, yeah, and she's like, maybe some shoes, maybe some water to clean my, my legs. And, and I'm like, okay, like, why don't you wait over there? And I'm like, no, come to my house. Like, come to my backyard. And of course, you all know my backyard is grounded as, as it all get out. <laughs> I'm on the grid, dude. Um, so yeah, I got her some, some warm soapy water and uh, she cleaned her legs and, you know, I made her an egg sandwich. <laughs> and then I got a backpack and got her some stuff because, you know, she needed to head out. I didn't know how I was going to play it, if she's going to be like, oh, now I'm going to go, you know, come to your house every day and can I live with you and can you help me? She was just like, I just need to clean my feet. Maybe eat and rest. Rest a little bit. And then what's great, you guys, I asked her, like, um, you know, where she wants me to drop her off. And uh, she's like, oh, at the Chevron on 82nd. And I'm like, that's my Chevron. <laughs> I'm like, I know all those guys. I love those guys. So, um. This was fascinating too. When she came in, she of course could barely walk. And when she was sitting in the chair, just slouched over, just like so scrunched up. But you know, she was also just like chilling. And sometimes she would nod off. And she was just must have been so tired. She doesn't have a camp. They always get stolen. Um, but you know, when she cleaned her legs and got some socks on and got some pants on, and ate some food. She stood up. Oh, I gave her some Tevas. So they, you know, they're, they're adjustable because her feet were pretty swollen. Um, and sent her off with isopropyl alcohol and toothbrush and shit. Um, but when she was walking to my car, she stood up straight. And I'm like, you have beautiful posture. And she said, thank you. Oh, she also says she has MS. And that check this shit out. She has money. She's 
like, I'm not poor. <laughs> but, you know, since we had this connection at the gas station, I went and dropped her off and, um, Stephen was there and I get out of the car and he kind of waves at me and he gets out he's like, hey, Nicole. And she just kind of says hi and, you know, we hug and I'm like, if you need anything, like, leave a message at the, at the store, you know, and I'll come periodically and see if you need something like a coat or something. And then she walked off, tall and straight. And man, it was so beautiful. These clouds are amazing. Yeah, I could get all emotional and I'm, I'm not going to. So go outside. <laughs> you don't have to seek it out, it'll come to you. You will pull forth the blessings. That was a blessing for me. Because here's what. Here's what. What was my option? Seriously. So let her walk by. <laughs> you think that would have been worth the risk? And you guys, she wasn't like flailing or anything. And that's why it was perfect for me in my moment. Like that's kind of like... Hopefully, everybody's gonna do their healing so we can, because you have to do yours. Don't think you get about it so shit. Don't get, don't think that you get out of not doing your healing and just gonna point the finger at other people. What is it? Well, if you're drinking every night, but wow, 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 they, them, them, them. Signal, signal, signal. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. When um, energy shift from fire to earth, and my mom is a Virgo, so. She's a powerful magician. Oh my gosh, I learned from the best. <laughs> and she learned from the best, and she learned from the best. And even if you're in this dire situation with your, with your parent, or, you know, whatever, an irritating situation. Figure out why it's working for you. Is it that hard? You just gotta let go. Gotta ground and lighten up. As above, so below. This is what we're doing. Like it or not. <laughs> you know, yesterday they were just, there were so many lines in the sky. They were just like, so many lines. <laughs> And what I think it is, is that they are blocking out the sun because some people can't handle this level of amplification. They would trip. So we got to put a nice haze over this place. <laughs> we got to like, it's almost like they have to pace the situation. And you know, dudes were getting so like agitated. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe you're chilling out now. It's okay. It's just like affects us, you know? And that's how we affect each other. <laughs> mm. So anyone in my field, especially this time of day, is gonna get it. If they if they <laughs> I mean, if they're just like, you know, I'm not even going to mess with that. Why? Why would I bother? But if they're like, hmm, I'm like, hey. <laughs> like this guy was out by the, by the towers, two trees, portals, gatekeepers, my 11. You know, throwing a ball to his dog. And I was like, hey. And I go, isn't it great these dogs adopted us so they could take us outside? <laughs> And he's like, yeah, I wouldn't even be up if I didn't have this dog. I'm like, yep. You know, so just kind of like that little level of in the field. I got him thinking a little bit. Oh, yeah, so we got the, the natural clouds going. <laughs> so. If you can, if you care. Take your shoes off and walk around your backyard or something. Or just intentionally be outside with your shoes off. Just 
feel your feet on the earth. Sit with it. The best is to dance around and move. That's coming in. <laughs> it's so funny how hard we've made it. It's hysterical how hard we made it to, to have our most beautiful physique. And um, that is that we chose, you know, not everybody chose to look like, you know, a Kardashian or something. Or not everybody chose to look like a, I don't even know what I'm talking about, Levine and John. I mean, these are the people that were like, blah, but maybe you were that before. And this time you, you're not. You want to understand the contrast. You want to understand every angle. This is a game. <laughs> Depeche Mode. I don't want to start any blasphemous rumors, but I think that God's got a sick sense of humor, and when I die, I expect to find him laughing. Follow through. Follow through with the way you start, dude. Follow through. See if you can get the good aim, get the best angle. For that, you must stretch. For what is a bow? She can't pull back. You're like, eh. <laughs> you're just all stiff. Your spine's all like, no. You need to be like, with your own body. You know, that's what your ego is that I learned from the Luke Mark High. That your ego is your, your heart energy. And um, that is your, that's where you aim for the bullseye. mind, heart, instinct, I don't know. Oh, here's another thing. This is gonna be a little bit long. So as I was walking back and really just so, like when I walked past the spot where Nicole and I talked, where we first met, I'm like, this is sacred ground, sacred ground. And there's a church, it's like right there <laughs> with a cross. And you know, whatever that means to you, that's cool, it's just cool. Oh, here's a feather I found. But yeah, I was just so full of, of gratitude and uh, and love for having that experience with her. And, uh, you know, my shadow was nice and long. It's about 7 in the morning. I don't know. It's probably 7. And my shadow was so, like, <laughs> cool looking. And, of course, I was like, dun, 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 What was I listening to? Oh, I think Sting. If I ever lose my faith in you, it's, just, it's an anthem. It's an anthem. He's still alive. Um, that's cool. So yeah, when you see your, your shadows move, or even just observe your, the, your posture and your shadow, what does it look like? How does it move? Is it stiff? Shadow dancing. Andy Gibb or the Bee Gees and I love Andy Gibb I think it's Andy Gibb <gasps> is it Andy Gibb season? <laughs> yes and King and I season the King and I season I'm going to watch that love that movie Shall We Dance on a bright cloud of music Shall We Fly Shall We Dance Shall we then say goodnight and mean goodbye? All perchance, when the last little stars left the sky. Will we still be together with our arms around each other? And will you be my new romance on the cliff? Understanding that this kind of thing can happen. Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Shall we dance? Do it. All right, that's it. Isn't this fun? Isn't this fun? Okay. Enjoy this badass Aquarian day. Bring it, brothers and sisters. I love you all. Namaste.